And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today we will be searching an array. It's actually pretty simple and it's kind of self-explanatory on how to actually do it if you have watched up until now. But it is not always that easy to see something if you don't know about it yet. So to me, of course, since I know it, it's easy. But I don't remember how it was before I didn't know about it. I don't remember if I actually struggled with it or not. So I'm still going to show you. So what we have is we have an array or animals from 1 to 5. And it has 5 things in it, of course, dog, cat, bird, monkey and snake. Now we're going to search for it. The user will click on the button and once they click on it, a pop a input box should pop up asking them what animal they're looking for. And if they search for that animal, it should tell them, okay, the animal does exist or it does not exist. If it does exist, where in where was the animal found? At what index in the array? All right, so let's begin. First thing we'll need is we need to create variables. So it is is search, which is a string, i, which is an integer, and um, b flag, which is a boolean. Now uh, this part I'm going to show right here is optional, but I'm still going to show you how to do it because this is a safer method to use it with a flag. Once you know how it looks, you will be able to figure out how to do it without using B flag, of course. But anyways, let's continue. So the first thing we'll need is we need to make a search into whatever the person wants to search for. So is search becomes becomes input box one two one two one two and there we have our first thing we can just type search to oh, I hate it when I do that but where do I even find the insert button there it is okay we can do that and we can do that then we can just type in what animal are you looking for and here we can just give it a default value of dog for now no need to give it a default value i'd like to give it but anyways then the next thing we need is we need to set b flag as false and i as zero So I'm going to explain all this right now, which is for declaring the variables, there's not too much you can actually say about it. So yeah, Ooh, it's so messed up. Okay, there we go. So then what we got to do is we got to go um, while and then we can go B flag is not equal to true. Or you could just say it while not B flag or while B flag is equal to false. It is up to you. I'm just following the book a little bit more here. And also remember if you're adding two different arguments to a while loop, you should put them in brackets or any if statement or something like that. Always remember if it's more than one in brackets. I always put mine in brackets just since it's safer, but just remember always in brackets and then while i is less or equal to the length of our animals do begin please press ctrl d because that just looks disgusting if you don't all right so this is the basic wall what we're telling it is while b flag is not true it should continue running and if i is less or equal to zero i mean less or equal to five it should continue running as well first thing you should do is we should go ink and we should increment i um, if you don't know what ink does it's basically in code it means i becomes i plus one that is what it says if you write it out in code if
at the position of i is the same as is search then <clears throat> then begin and if it is we should go b flag becomes true and if i'm correct that is actually all so what we're saying here is go into the array and then increment i because i is zero here we need to increment it to one why didn't put i why didn't i put i underneath this it is because it can cause errors or here it's because it can cause errors if it's here so i just put it at the top um because it just works better then i say if our animals at index i is the same as the word in a search which is dog so if this and this is exactly the same then go b flag becomes true and because b flag becomes true the while loop will now stop because oh wait b flag it's true now so i can i'm not allowed to run anymore but if it's not it will continue running until i is the same length as the array in which case this will tell it to stop so this is kind of a fail safer in case that word does not exist so yeah and then after we've done that just to make sure everything works we can go if b flag begin and then after you send it you go show message is string was found in index why am i getting an error message there a string oh it's a search excuse me a search was found in index or more, more at at index plus int to string i and if it was not found which means if b flag is not true then show message s search was not found all right so let's run it and then i'll just re-explain so we can get that behind us search i'm going to search for dog it was at index one what else do we have we have snake so let's go snake search it it was found at index five now i want spider but spider is not there so okay spider was not found so let's go through it again a search finds whatever person puts into the input box as soon as they click the button this is dog or cat or whatever b flag is set to false to say no i didn't find it you can also go like be found if you want like they do in the book but generally we use b flag because it's just i don't know we just use it i becomes zero this is because once you click it i has to go back to zero otherwise we're going to run to troubles of the while loop then while b flag is not equal to true and i is less or equal to the length of our animals increment i making i one if our animals at index i is the same as search so if this and this is the same thing then return b flag as true this will also stop the while loop if it's not true continue running the while loop until you either find it or i is bigger than the length of our animals or the same then after that if b flag was made true so if it was said that b flag is true then show message the search was found or else if b flag is still false then it was not found thank you all for watching i hope you all learned how to search for something in an array see you all in the next video